All right, so back at the park, <clears throat> back at the same park from the last video. Uh, there's the van. Um, just on, there's a swale all the way around this ball field. And just on the other side of that swale, straight in line from the van, we're off to, off to the right a little bit. Just had a, thought it seemed like a decent signal, pretty steady. So I started digging, did the plug, did the ethical plug, and instantly hit rock. Now, over here, there's rock that the grass has grown on top of. But over here, I've had nothing but just dirt. Until this spot over here, which this that was the first time I was swinging in that area. And the stone is not something that was put there intentionally. It's natural stone or and or if it was intentionally put there, it's bigger than like it's not driveway stone. Not like over here by the on the other side of the field. So starting to dig down, and I find a piece of see if I can do it because I can find it now. I forgot. <laughs> kind of was excited, so I didn't even turn on the didn't even turn on the phone, turn on the video. But actually found a, three things in the hole which Trying to lead me to believe. We'll put those three there, and then we'll throw the rest of this trash that I pick up. Put that back in the bottom of the bag. First thing I found, actually, there was four things. Like, where did the other one go? I don't see it. It's in there somewhere. Well, I found a little piece of brick, rounded brick. Then I find this little piece of pottery. This is one of them old crocs. The, the, the stone stoneware crocs. With the finished with the finished edge. I don't know, that's not gonna come up very well. Hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. That's better. So I find the piece of stoneware croc first. Uh the lip side here okay and then just below that I find charcoal or coal bits I think it's I'd say charcoal or what they would consider coke maybe so I find that in the hole and then the pinpointer's telling me that I'm right on the target it's right there now Problem is, <laughs> there's a pretty decent piece of limestone blocking me from getting to whatever it's the pinpointer was picking up. And on the ID, it was upper 60s, low 70s, and occasional. And then it was, I was also getting 80s and 90s. So it was seeming like there was multiple targets in the in the spot, but big piece of limestone in my way, and I couldn't find the edge of it. So I had to uh, nix that hole and let whatever's there there. Maybe I'll give it a try another time when it's warmer, because right now it's pretty cold out. There's a breeze, like always. Imagine that. Not a big breeze, but just enough. My, my fingertips are numb holding the camera phone. So that hole may have to be for another day when it warms up some but then again i also don't want to dig a massive hole i just want to remove plugs if i gotta dig out a bunch of rocks and giant rocks that's something i'm not going to do at a local public facility park and you know like this or the the ball field and so out of respect i will leave it there and we continue on and I'm trying to think did I oh. 
definitely getting a lot of mix. I keep getting 70s and 80s, but then I, then I get iron too with the iron audio on. It's, it's definitely a bunch of mixed stuff, which could easily be with the iron audio when you get the bouncing back and forth. It's most likely just garbage, garbage target, junk metal, you know, pull tabs, uh, aluminum can, foil, stuff like that. But since I have been finding quite a bit of coinage around here, nothing old, but, you know, coinage, I uh, <laughs> kind of want to dig everything, but but it's cold. Very, very cold. <sighs> so I will bring you back out and get, get with you guys if uh, I find another, if I find a steady target. Uh, hopefully I'm going to go over here and hopefully find some more coins. So, catch you in a bit. Okay, got a signal here. And it's a shallow one. We can easily hear that. Right there it is. Now, if you see, I just pulled the grass back. And look what we got there, a sticking up out of the dirt. We got ourselves a quarter. We got ourselves a, uh, not sure to hear here, hold on a second. We're going to, uh, let's see if we can, I don't know how everybody can read a date on the old, old, old colonial coins when I can barely read them on these things. There we go. All right, so we got a 1991. 1991 quarter. But I will take it. There's a and I actually did dig the <laughs> I did a plug and then as soon as I got down and after doing the plug and I was like eh, I checked it with the pinpointer and then noticed I didn't have to do the plug so that's okay because we'll just uh, there you go as like new by spring when they mow this, won't even be, can't even tell I even pulled the plug out there now, really. Unless you look really close and look for the steam, but heck, a freeze thaw, a rain, snow, and then they mow this, ain't gonna be able to tell. Grass keeps growing, good to go. All right, apparently we're not, we're not done here because right there's where I got that quarter. And right at the edge of the plug hole, I'm getting a 90, 87. So we're going to pinpoint. Right there. So... Okay, let's take the pinpointer first. Right there. There it is. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, these people, I don't know. Somebody been dropping a lot of coins here. Uh,. What is that one? 2000, 2015 or 16? 2015 quarter. Looks like. Uh, 
I'm gonna get them, and I think it's a 15. It's a quarter, because there's Washington's head. It's not a state quarter. I'm not sure which one that is, but that was after the state quarters, I guess. They've done so many different quarters, I don't even know. I can't, I didn't keep up with it anymore. So, and we'll use my Parmesan cheese coin holder. <laughs> use whatever you can, right? Well, let's just check with the pin boy. <laughs> Well, who needs who needs a metal detector? Just uh, get down on your hands and knees with a pinpointer. Yeah, nothing else here. Okay. All right. Catch you if I can any more. All right. Only moved a few feet. We got another signal. I do believe this may be a stinking Lincoln. And it's right here showing dead on like it's yep close 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 dead on so i am going to guess that it is a shallow topper yes it is there we are in the grass not even buried yet it's shield penny i think they call these the shield Penny. So. 2019. Stinking Lincoln. All right, so I got another good signal. It was in this. Pulled this plug out. The signal's in that. And yet, there's more. I don't know if, what is going on here? I'm not sure. <laughs> that's, that's my, that's my pinpointer making that noise. I'm guessing maybe the battery's going dead. I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I think my, I think my battery's going dead in the pinpointer or something, I don't know. But we do have Another signal. So hopefully you can see this and we'll see what we can find here because I got a quarter. That's a 19. Yeah. Looks like 1994, you're a graduated high school. And then, there's something else in here somewhere. So the pinpointer said, before it decided to go all bananas. Must be in the roots of the grass. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, it's small plug. I can tear it apart and it'll still continue to grow up. There it is. Another quarter. Man, and this one, I 
Another 2015, it looks like, maybe. We got, uh... <laughs> Today is the day of quarters here. So we'll put the dirt back in the hole. plug back in there and there we go voila Ugh. oh it's getting cold oh, I think I'm going to have to call it quits because I can't feel my fingertips other than the burn burning sensation so two more quarters that's uh, what's that make for the day Let's see here. So that makes, I had, that's the memorial from the other day. So, <laughs> got a dollar, dollar one so far. A dollar one. Go buy me a lottery ticket with that right there. Hit me a dollar scratch off. Who knows? Maybe I win big. But maybe I'll swing for I swing for a little longer yet. I can't give up the daylight. But hands are oh. even with gloves on. They're burning. The joys of being on blood thinners and wanting the metal tech in the winter time. So, catch you on the next one. Yeah, like the diehard I am or the fool I am, I couldn't stop swinging. And I got a signal here. It was in the, uh, oh, in the 50s there for the coins for the old nickel. And, well, there it is. Pulled the plug, scraped off this little piece here in the bottom. And there she sits. We got a nickel that's about, oh, what do we got there? Uh, almost eh, well, three to four inches down. So, boop, there it is. And the, <laughs> Pin pointer's acting up already. I guess the battery's going dead. I don't know. So. This one will have to be cleaned up to get a date on it. But it's definitely not a new. It's a, not an old one. It's a newer one. So. We got a dollar six. Alrighty. Yep. Yep. Get everything back out of the way because this Garrett metal detector is really good. It'll pick up. I have it on the medium setting. And it starts picking that up from there, which is like six inches away. Yeah, this thing's going nuts like like the battery's going which could be because I have it in the back of the van and it's cold back there so because my cabinet doesn't seem to get radiant heat through the wood so it stays cold yep yeah, that's it no more just one nickel all right all right just had a stinking Lincoln up there and I didn't get my camera, I didn't take my glove off because my hands are, I'm debated on taking my phone out for this one, but now that I found a dime, <laughs> yeah, found ourselves a dime. Uh, we got, uh, Like, 
Not really sure. Can't tell. I don't have to brush, use the brush on that one. But just a dime. So I think that's going to conclude this this dig video today, this evening. Um, supposed to be getting a lot of rain tomorrow, which means ah, tomorrow's shot. Maybe I'll do research and figure out. Maybe, who knows, maybe go try to get some permissions. I don't know. We'll see. Or I might just sleep all day. Catch up on my beauty rest. Takes a lot of work to keep this looking good. <laughs> if you believe that one, I got some ocean front property right here along the railroad tracks. I'll sell you for a dollar. <laughs> uh, yeah, funny guy, I know. I'm a comedian. <laughs> uh, plus, my pinpointer keeps going ballistic. It'll beep and I'll pinpoint something. And then it does that beep, 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 just constant. So, apparently, something's wrong with my battery. I'm a guessing. Uh, put the dirt back in the hole. That goes that way. But uh, take the old, the old nigger. And we'll see if we, we beat that plug back in there, huh? Make it nice and even. And then you rub over it with your hand. Voila. It looks no different than many other spots in this field. And that is how you do ethical plug removal and return. You cannot tell. Oh, and I also got a pull tab up here. I got, yes, <laughs> I wasn't skunked. I really thought I was gonna be skunked for the day and not get a pull tab. Whew. But lucky for me, I got that old relic pull tab off of a 1990s, early 2000s soda can. I was really getting worried. <laughs> Again, more comedy, ha ha ha. All right, yep, it's cold. My hands are burning. And I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you for watching. And if you uh, haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, you don't have to hit the like button. Well, you can hit the like button. You don't have to hit the notification button. Because, you know, hey, you might not always want to see my videos and my ugly mug. But for those that do, Go ahead and hit the notifications, then you'll be notified when I post a video. But uh, at least, you know, the subscription and uh, subscribe, and it's free. And the like button, it's free. And uh, until the next time, which is, I don't know, I think we're supposed to get rain, maybe snow. I don't know. I heard about snow, but now the forecast my, from my local forecast is just saying rain, 80% all day tomorrow or some shit. But, uh, I don't know. I give up. The weatherman, that's a job. Wouldn't you love to have that job? Watch some forecast computer models and say, Oh my God. Oh my God. Get ready. The blizzard. The blizzard of 23 is coming for the Northeast. Oh. And, and nothing. Or, you know, like the last thing we were supposed to, We're going to get a couple inches of snow out of this. And yeah, we got rain and snow. Uh, but the snow didn't stick at all, except for one little area the next morning when I went to work on Saturday, it was a Saturday morning. I headed out towards the mountain, and there's a little bit of snow dusting. Um, <laughs> that doesn't constitute one to six inches, or, you know, I heard all different things from weathermen around the country. Uh, Y'all... Y'all weather down there south, that southern boy. He seems like he really knows what he's doing and, you know, tells the truth of what the models are showing. But his forecasts seem to be falling on their faces for most of the places where, you know, some at least half the places that he's, where he's saying about how this storm's going to go and the snow and then it didn't happen. So, um, that must be a nice job, be able to. Yeah, it's going to be uh, partly sunny, partly cloudy, uh, with a slight breezy wind. Um, yeah, 
and then you get this. Well, they weren't, I guess they weren't lying. It was a little sunny this morning, so there's your partly sunny, and, well, you know. <laughs> so, but anywho, enough rant about the weather. Uh, till the next one, when the weather clears up and starts getting warmer, hopefully. Uh, catch you all later, and remember, fight for love, not hate, because the beard nomad relic hunter and the coin, yeah, I guess I should call myself a coin hunter. I haven't really found much relics except for that little pottery, but, you know, the bearded nomad, re nomad relic hunter says fight for love, not hate. Let's be kind to everybody. Or at least some people, you know, at least, you know, you can't, may not be able to be kind to everybody. But do your part and be kind to at least a few people. And you know what? We can start making the world a little bit better place. No need for animosity, hate, and all this other stuff going around in the, in the country, in the world. There's no need for it. So, catch y'all later. Love you. Peace.